down to the 31-yard line. Time winding down. Down to one second to go. They get the ball. Spike. It was down to zero. The clock is down to zero. And there is your Christmas Eve dagger. You found a way. It don't matter. It don't matter. It all goes to the constant say. The thing that we got to do is learn from it. We got everything right in front of us, and we got to handle our business. Y'all with me in that? Yeah, yeah. So continue to have each other back, play together, man. Keep on moving forward and keep on chopping. Hack on through. One, two, three. Hey! Hey! Hello and welcome to Total Packers with Matt LaFleur, presented by Software One. Larry McCarron along with the head coach of the Green Bay Packers. And Matt, it's week 17. You're still in the playoff hunt. That's a pretty good place to be, isn't it? Yeah, I think we'd all like to be in better position, but certainly um, have an opportunity in front of us. That uh, It's always tough to go to Minnesota and, and play in front of their home fans. Uh, but what a great opportunity, Sunday Night Football, NFC North rival. In the final analysis, what did your team's victory over Carolina tell you about your football team? Well, it just shows that our guys are resilient enough to stay focused and play a full four quarters. It wasn't always pretty, um, but the bottom line is you got to find a way to win football games. And certainly made a few plays down the stretch uh, after having some rough patches in the second half. And it was, it was great to come away at the win. Matt, this is just me, personal opinion. But any questions coming into the season about Jordan Love have been answered. He's the man. Uh, yeah, I think he's the man as well. Uh, we, we just got to keep continuing to push and continue to strive to get better. And I think he's got that mindset, so I'm not worried about that. Um, and it's been great to see the development of all the other players around him, the young receivers, the tight ends. I think our O-line's done a really good job in pass protection, and certainly our backs played a big part in this last game. Speaking of which, 162 yards rushing, 4-8 a carry. When you have a running game like that, it helps everything, doesn't it? It sure does. It helps the guys up front in terms of pass protection. It takes a lot of pressure off the quarterback, and that's what we want to be. We want to be a balanced football team that's capable of moving the ball, whether it's on the ground or through the air. Aaron Jones looked like Aaron Jones. He sure did. He was dynamic, made, a, I think, three explosive runs in the game, and certainly provided a big spark, especially early on in the game. Matt, what's going on in the wide receiver room? Time and time again, you need somebody to step up or somebody's to step up. And time and time again, they keep doing it. Yeah, I think it's great. Just all the contributions we've gotten from multiple people in that room. Certainly, Rome had a, another great game. Uh, made a big time catch at the end of the game. He had the touchdown reception. Uh, but it's also cool to see guys come up off the practice squad. A guy like Bo Melton getting his opportunity, having over 50 yards in the game. And so I think it's a great credit to Jason Brabel and his leadership that he provides in that room and getting our guys coached up so they can go out there and execute at a high level. Tucker Craft keeps making plays. Had a 27-yarder early and a big 20-yarder late. He just keeps making plays for you. And he's doing it both in the run game and in the pass game. Certainly that catch at the end of the game, not quite sure how Jordan fitted in that tight window, and Tucker was able to hold on to that, spun out of a tackle, and obviously put us in, in great position to kick the game-winning field goal. Also saw improvement in situation of football. Eight of 14 on third down, three of four in the red zone. Uh, better situations that you were facing or just better execution or both? Yeah, I think a lot of those were credit to having third and manageable situations. Third and short, we were able to pick up a couple first downs running the football. And ultimately, it always comes down to the execution. Defensively speaking, Matt, it looked like you guys were doing some different things, but still the results were not real good. What did you see? 
Yeah, I thought the first half we played pretty solid. Um, we had a couple penalties that, that led to points, um, but I thought we were doing a good job of getting pressure on the quarterback. And then in the second half, you know, he made a couple unbelievable throws. And it's give credit to Carolina. Bryce Young stood in there and in the face of the pressure and was able to deliver. And um, that's something that uh, we got to be better on defensively, especially in the second half. Thank you, Matt. Coming up, Zach Tom from the locker room at Bank of America Stadium. Stay with us. Total Packers with Matt LaFleur is brought to you by your local Chevy dealers, by Bell & Health, and by Johnsonville. Welcome back. This one-on-one -on -one is brought to you by Brew Pub, lots of matzo pizza. Zach, what was it like? It seems like, okay, you guys are in control. I think it was 30, 16 or something in the fourth quarter. And then when you you feel like, hey, we might be losing control here. And, and they're still playing, obviously. Mm -hmm. What's that feeling like then? It's the NFL, so you know you know, you're going to have to earn everything you get. So we knew we were going to have to face adversity at some point. You know, we had a few drives on offense that we weren't really producing. And then, but at the end of the day, when, when it mattered most, we got the W. Aaron had over 100 yards rushing. You guys allowed just one sack. Now, as a collective unit, that's a pretty good day for the offensive line at first blush. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then they had some, they had some good players on the defensive line, obviously. I mean, obviously, we want the number to be zero, but anytime you can, you know, not allow a bunch of sacks and a bunch of pressure, then it's a, it's a good day. What do you think of Jordan Love's performance, attitude, leadership this season, his first as a starter? I like his demeanor in the huddle, like on the field. Um, he never gets too high, never gets too low. He's a very calming presence um, in the locker room, on the field, and like, you know, we went through some adversity this year, and he was—he always came in. He was always the same person. He's somebody you can trust to do his job, um, and to, you know, go even above and beyond doing his job. You just got to give him time and um, protect him, and he'll make plays. You individually have enjoyed an outstanding season at right tackle. Do you feel like, you know what, I could do this for the rest of my football life? Yeah, but. I'm pretty hard on myself. I think I think y'all know that. Um, you know, there's obviously still some things I need to get better at. That's just the mentality that I come in with. Um, that you know, I, I'm, I try to be mature. I try to be. I try to do things the right way. And um, and obviously on the field, I try to control the controllables, just knowing the playbook, knowing what to do, knowing what to expect. And um, I think that's a big part of my game too. ago, we launched an incredible stretch of amazing football at Lambeau Field. We had a team loaded with talent. Mike Holmgren, Brett Favre, Sterling Sharp, Reggie White, and oh yeah, myself. And we were on the cusp of being one of the best teams of the 90s. We just need a boost, a nudge, or something to get us going. That's why I come in. Let me set the stage for you. Oh yeah, you're a big part of the story. I'll get back to you in a minute. December 26, 1993. Hello everybody, welcome to Lambeau Field. Lambeau Field was cold, zero degrees, minus 20 degrees wind chill. Perfect for the boys from sunny LA. And welcome to football this afternoon between the Green Bay Packers and the Los Angeles Raiders. We win and we've got a chance to clinch the first playoff berth for the Packers in 11 years. Say no more. 
First and goal at the one yard line. Here's Parr on the handoff to Ingram. Exactly. Touchdown. Boom. Seven nothing. Then. The 15 to the 10 to the 5. And he is over the goal line. Boom again. 14 nothing. And you know the defense was cooking. Reggie White said, no, you don't. The Raiders didn't even know what hit them. We're up two scores going into the fourth quarter, looking for the knockout blow. That's when this place delivers. Holy cow! So here's where this play really picks up. So as I'm coming down, I see Randy Jordan gets the ball and catches it. I hit him, the ball comes out. I'm like, where's the ball? Where is it? And then all of a sudden, I see Bryce Pop, Tony Bennett, our two linebackers. They were trying to run and they fall because the field was frozen. All of a sudden, I see Reggie White. Reggie White comes over here and he's struggling, trying to run. He's falling. We call eye contact. And he lowered me the ball. And then it dawned on me that Mike Holmgren says, if any defensive back get an interception or a fumble, don't lateral the ball. So Reggie wasn't supposed to do that, but it's Reggie White. When I got the ball as a defensive back, because I never score, I'm running down, and then it hit me. What am I going to do? Some dance, because I did go to Florida State. As I get it right about here, it just pops in my head. I'm going to jump in the stands. And when I kept going, I kept going, I threw the ball down, and I jump up into the best fan's arms and get the best hug of all time from the best fans of all time. It is a touchdown for Leroy Butler. You've worked so hard to get this thing done this year, and we haven't done it easy one time. I am so proud of you, I can't put it into words. Thirty years, it's been a long time, my friend. And this helped launch three decades of awesome Lambo leaps for some of the best Packer players and, of course, the best fans in the business. I'll always say this is the best way we can show our appreciation to you. We've done it for 30 years, 60, 100 more. To the best fans in the world, to the best place in the world, happy anniversary, Lambo Leap. Go Pack Go! Welcome back. This week's Chalk Talk is brought to you by Network Health. In just his second season, Zach Tom has already developed a reputation for being a real good player. You earn those reputations by beating other real good players. Derek Brown is one such player. Very disruptive force up front, especially against the run. Here's Zach. He comes off the ball, gets a shove from Tucker Kraft, then it's Zach's block. And he sticks and stays and stays some more, basically eliminates one side of the line of scrimmage. And look at that hole for Aaron Jones. Also getting blocked from Tucker Kraft and Ben Sims and Aaron Jones is through there for 10 big yards. Very next play, and it gets worse before it gets better for Brown. Zach gets on him, and this time he gets underneath him and takes him a good five yards off the line of scrimmage. Gives Aaron Jones another clean read, and Aaron's also getting blocks from Kraft and Dontavian Wicks and he's through there, and this time, he's going for 13 yards. Later on, different kind of play, and Brown plays it differently. This time, he tries to shuck Zach aside, but Zach is athlete enough to redirect his force, keep the pressure on, and Brown can't get off the block, and Aaron Jones is through the pile, this time going for a season best, 39 yards. Zach Tom may not be the biggest right tackle out there, but thanks to athleticism, technique, and smarts, he's already one of the best.
Total Packers with Matt LaFleur is brought to you by Network Health, by your Wisconsin Toyota dealers, and by Software One, redefining how companies build, buy, and manage everything in the cloud. Welcome back to Total Packers with Matt LaFleur. This week's game balls are brought to you by Spectrum. Time to hand out game balls where the news is always good. And Matt, on offense, you went with Aaron Jones. And I'll tell you what, if he weighs 195 this time of year, 194 pounds of it is heart. What a warrior. Yeah, he, he's what I like to call a war daddy. He definitely, you know you're gonna get his best effort every time out. And it's not just running the football, it's what he does away from the ball, how he blocks for his teammates, how he's always hustling, doing all the little things that you expect from your captain. Defensively, you went with Preston Smith, who had a sack and a half. And how much of Preston's success is due to his football intelligence? When you watch him play, you think, there's a guy that just flat out gets it. He does. He's been playing a long time, and that's, I think, one of his best attributes is his FBIs, as we call it, his football intelligence. And he's a great leader for us, a tone setter on the defense side of the ball. On Wee Fence, Benny Sapp, what'd you like about his game? Well, it was indicative of that first kickoff, just his ability to run down there, draw a penalty. He had multiple tackles on kickoff. Just the intensity at which he plays the game is second to none. Thank you, Matt. Coming up, the last word from the coach. Don't go away. Welcome back. The last word with Matt LaFleur is brought to you by Construction Business Group and Wisconsin Operating Engineers. Time for the last word from the coach. And Matt, this week you have a trip to Minnesota. And the Vikings are also 7-8. and eight, But they put that record together without Kirk Cousins, who they've been without since week 8 against you guys. Yeah, I think they've done an outstanding job. And, you know, really in every phase of, of football, their offense has a ton of weapons. Obviously, Justin Jefferson, Addison's come on strong. I think Nick Mullins threw for over 400 yards last week versus Detroit, which is not easy to do. And then defensively, they bring chaos. They want to blitz you, and you got to hold up under that pressure. And they did a really good job the first time we played them earlier this season, they held us to 10 points. So it's going to be a great challenge, but one that we're really excited for. Thank you, Matt. Good luck against the Vikings, and thank you for watching. Happy New Year, and until next time, take care.